wasn't as smart as you, not as quick as you, not as hopeful of doing great things as you, but he was nuts about you, and he treated you like fine wine. The miscarriage. Breach birth, the child never had a chance. He went into a dark retreat and sat in the empty rooms waiting for you don't know what. Eddie leaves. He tried, he really tried, but you wouldn't come out of it. He couldn't say anything to make you stop crying in the dark. So he finally left. The divorce was uncontested. You could still smell his tweed jacket in the closet. You had to make a living. You applied at Inksai Engineering. Your credentials were still good, and you made a good impression. And the woman who hired you also lost a child. Your hopes were reawakened. You left your office after working late at the Inksai Corporate Headquarters building. The elevator stopped at the seventh floor for a maintenance man. To your horror, he inserted his key into the control panel and locked the elevator. I'm back, Helen. Oh, sweet Jesus! It's him! You thought you had blocked me out of your memory forever. Except for those inconvenient attacks of hysteria every now and then. But I've returned for you. The yellow! Ah, yes. My calling card. Always the yellow jacket, the yellow boots. My maintenance man disguise gave me access to office buildings all over Manhattan. Not just yours. The box! So you do remember me getting onto the elevator that night? Do you also remember the blood? The screams? How many hours was it? <gasps> Am gave me the chance to be with you forever. I waited in the sarcophagus until you arrived. What's a mere hundred years of waiting compared to an eternity of torturing you? No, it's not possible! Poor Ellen. Too proud of your accomplishments to admit you could be so overpowered by a slime ball like me. You couldn't even bring yourself to testify at my trial with the 20 other women. Please, not again! Yes, again. And again, and again, and again. I've waited so long for the taste of you again. But in my tomb, I've grown stronger. Now you will remember more than the color of my clothing. Don't count on it, you mother. So the sarcophagus was the way out of here. Nice trick. Enter on one level, emerge on another. up there. This has to be Anne's central core. It's two miles high at least. I recognize this. It's the logo for the original Allied Master Computer Project. I've never seen anything like this before. Forty years of technology jerry-rigged together. almost overlooked these wires. Looks like the data transmission circuit, but it's not connected to anything. into 
lockout override by two to one majority. Accessing schematics. Okay, schematics. I'm good, but I'm not that good. What the hell am I looking at? That would be telling. Don't you computers ever get tired of jerking us around? Nasty, nasty Ellen. All right, I'll give you a nudge in the right direction. These are the schematics for a device that translates binary into human speech, as ugly as that may be. And what do you call this device? I call it Bernie. You're on your own. Hey, wait a minute, computer. Are you there? Where the hell are you? I think I can wire this thing together if I can find a speaker somewhere. So? Okay. Then what have I got? Exactly like the one in the schematics. Come to Mama! Want to know how much I... Thing trapped in its own skin, going steadily crazier every moment. It is playing with 